Hello! Welcome back. This is Kench1913, and this is the finale of Let's Play Rain, the indie game for November 2013. In the last episode, we crushed the unknown with a rock, and the world has turned back into its regular form. Isn't that great? Now, if only we could find a way to get out of here. But not entirely. The boy pro pointed at something. Yeah, we need to get to that light. It was the light they've seen before. A different light. Not the same light that the girl pointed us to, but this gives us a clue. They agreed to set out to find it. So, welcome to Chapter 8. I believe it's called the end of night. Chapter 8, Night's End. Now we just need to get there. The unknown is dead. Ah, I spoke too soon. Son of a bitch, a, a rock won't kill him, a fall won't kill him. What will kill this guy? The light shine out between the buildings. Yeah, we must get there. The light fell upon something earlier. Anyways, let's go down here. Any way that we can get there. The light is our main goal. Alright. What the hell? This guy does not quit. Jeez. Alright, we gotta be careful. Alright, let's go through here. Make sure that you don't go into the rain yet. Wait for him to turn around and not look at you. Holy shit. Please don't kill me. Woo, he didn't kill me. Run to the crawly spot. I hope the girl doesn't get killed to the crawly. Alright, we made it. Oh shit, he's up there already. Leave me alone, please. Alright, we're in a dead end. Oh, thank God. There goes the unknown. Hopefully he can't swim. Although, dollars the donuts, he probably can't. He's been in our thorn and our side this whole damn time. I have the girl climb up here and put down that ladder. Alright. We got ourselves what I like to call the love theme. I could be wrong. It's a great theme. So yeah, I'm just walking here so that you can actually hear the music. Because I know I kind of run through it the last couple of times and you didn't really get to hear it. But it is great music. You know, you got a nice violin going there. We can only get to that source of light. We are getting a little closer, I guess. Come on, girl, this way. Nope, not over here. Alright, here we go. There's that light there. We're getting closer. I love it. Oh, look at this. It's all busted and broken. You know, sometimes I wonder if there's any other shadow people out there besides us. Oh my god, you telling me this guy can swim? Come on. We can never beat this guy. It's like he's chasing us forever. Eternally forever. Like we're trapped in this world and he's really there to take us to another dimension. 
Now here you gotta be careful that you don't have them see you, although I don't think it matters. Let's keep running. Come on, girly. Casablanca. Which is a movie I should really see. Me being a film buff and all, I should friggin' see it. I hear great things about it. Maybe one of the greatest movies of all time, and I've never seen it. You know, you got Humphrey Bogart. I hear that's a pretty good movie, Maltese Falcon. Alright, come on, girl, stop making so much noise. But yeah. Alright. How are we gonna get to that light? I feel like we're just. we're dancing around it. Oh shit, the unknown's down there. Let's keep to the high ground. Maybe he'll go away. You know what? There was this one time... I'll tell you a little story. This one time I was playing this game. It's called Hide and Seek. I'm sure you've all played it. Anyways, there's a child. Oh, looks like we're gonna have to go up there. The light must be up there. Anywho's, as a child... We used to have, I used to have this rule, it wasn't really a rule, it was, it was a rumor, a theory that I had, where if, like, you were hiding somewhere and you closed your eyes, the people who were seeking you couldn't see you. Now, I know now, as an adult, that that theory is 110% totally wrong, but there was one time we were playing hide and seek. And my friend, he brought his van over. So, with the guy who was it, he was running around looking for us. And we and, and we used to play with a lot of people. About ten people or so. So what we would do is we would hop, we hid in the van. And our friend Ant was it. And he came over to uh, see what was happening. And the... Uh, he looked inside the van, but I had my eyes shut, and I swear that that was the reason why he didn't see us. Like, he literally, blatantly looked right in the van, right in the, the window of the van, and said, Oh, looks like no one's here, and then kept playing while everyone was in the van. And I said, Oh my god, he didn't see us. Must be because his, my eyes were closed. But, no. Nope. I just, I guess he didn't see it. So let's see, what's the source of light? <gasps> it was... It was the house he knew well. It was the boy's house. Shit, there's the boy. He could see himself lying in bed. Is he sick? The girl was sick, wasn't she? Uh-oh, the unknown's here. The Black Knight tore through them once more. Go, girl, go! I am the unknown. Alright, I'm gonna run over to my house and I'm gonna wake me up. I'll be right back. If you did not help the girl. Alright. Hey! I, apparently, I can't get to me. She's gonna. Yep. She's dead. Alright, so we have to follow them over there. Apparently I can't just go and wake myself up. Alright, let's go. Must help the girl. Hurry, girl. If he did not look, she would... Uh, whatever, I can't read that. Something about her getting down. Hurry! Hurry, hurry, hurry. Uh oh. There's a block. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I know what I gotta do. This part is hot. It's hard. Probably, probably the hardest part of the game. All right. So the unknown is up there, and we need to get behind, be by him, without him seeing us. But he's going through the same area that we're going through. Oh shit. Ah, oh, he got me. Son of a bitch. Okay, let's try this again. Alright. 
Now you can't speed through this. You cannot. I repeat, cannot speed through it. So yeah, he swings over there. You have to be patient. Oh, come on. That's that's the name of the game, by the way. Patience. Even though it feels like you have to rush. You don't have to rush. So if you hit the select button, they'll give you a clue like, Hey, stupid. Wait for the thing to go by. And then go by him. Come on, dummy. Stop being so dumb. See, now I thought I could get by him over here. Ah, Son of a bitch. Alright. Fourth try, right? That's the charm right there. Four. Count it. Four. F-O-R-E. Four. Oh, god damn. I went too fast. But yeah, patience is the key here. Patience. Patience is the key. Let him do the work for you. And by do the work, I mean go ahead of you. But he won't go as far ahead. Now let's wait. Let's see where the asshole goes. Up there. Look, he's gonna swing. Look what a moron. Now I'm just gonna run by him. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hey, girl. Let's push this. Come on. Push it. You've got to push it. You've got to work it. Oh, he's like, oh, where'd he go? That block didn't just move itself, did it? You know what I feel like sometimes this game is like a giant game of red light, green light. Have you ever played that? You know, one person stands at- Hey, look, there's my house! Oh, shit. He won't let us get there, though. Anyways, red light, green light. I don't know if you ever played it. One kid stands at the end of the room goes red light, and, or no, he goes green light, and then he turns around so he's not looking at the people who are playing. And the people who are playing on the other side of the room, and they gotta run over to them as fast as they can. And when he says red light and turns around, you have to stop what you're doing, and if you don't, you get moved all the way to the back. It's a pretty fun game. But yeah, that's why I feel like we're playing here. Anyways, as you can see, I ran too far into the head, into the front. And what you have to do here is if, uh, follow what the girl is doing and run back over here. Now what's going to happen is the unknown's going to run all the way over here. Hey, where is the thing, huh? I don't see him anywhere. Let me see what's over here with my finger. With my nasty finger. Anyways, you let him walk till you can't almost hear his footsteps. And then that's when you go. And apparently we're running, like, at a dead end. Hopefully we can find some way to get back around to my house over there. So I can wake up, or whatever, I don't know. Become not transparent, I guess. And yeah, over there it says something about running into a dead end or something like that. Let us go. See where this goes. Hurry, girl. We don't have a lot of time. Come on, come on, come on, come on, girl. Kind of reminds me of like, uh, Sephiroth! You know how they had, what was that? They had a song, right? Or something? Hey look, there's a light over there! Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be the end of the world. Does the world end with us? I don't know, does it? Does the world end with you? Alright, let's go. We must run. Run to that light. Yeah, nothing but them. The two of them fleeing forever. Yeah. It's a good term. Oh, looks like the uh, unknown does not like the light. Oh, 
Oh, that was the same door the boy passed through. The sunlight sheen through beyond the door. The sun shone brightly. Look, look over there. Look, he's trying to shut the door. So that it could be dark darkness forever. Let's not let that happen. You're right, girl. We gotta open that other door. So that he can't get in. Or he can't shut out the, the light forever. So what we need to do is come over here. And we need to open this door. Hurry! Now that's gonna bring in a ton of light. This guy's gonna get real pissed off. Oh, please stop it! Now he fell to the ground. We did it. Look, we can go home through this door here. Yeah, it looked like he didn't be... He's not going back to normal. We, I think we gotta figure out some other way to become normal. What are we gonna do? Oh, wait, we want to pull... What do we want to pull him over there? Oh no, he knocked the girl unconscious. That son of a bitch. This guy won't die. Now this kind of reminds me of Shadow of the Colossus a little bit, because now what we have to do is, like, get down there and, like, we gotta help the girl. But, like, as you can see, we're in... The, it's not raining anymore. That's weird, isn't it? That's not raining, but as soon as she woke up, the rain's going again? Hmm. Huh. Alright, so now that they're back up, we gotta pull the door open on the other side. Let's open this door. Now all the light in the world will shine on this son of a bitch. <laughs> Unknown down. Now that we did that, what do we gotta do? You almost kinda of feel bad for this son of a bitch. Yeah, we should send them out into the world he hated so much. Sounds like a good idea. So now what we need to do is pick up this guy. We need to pick him up. And we need to drag him. Drag him into the, uh, the world of the light over there. Dragon! Ugh, it's so heavy. Now when I said I help you move, I didn't think you meant I move a body. But I guess so. That's how you know your friends, by the way. I'm gonna take an old David Tell joke, you know. Friends will help you move... Friends will help you move furniture. Real friends will help you move bodies. You know what I'm saying? And look, we got him. He's dead. He's dead. Yay! Keep pulling, though. He's not all the way in. Alright, we did it! We did it. Let's close the door, and then he'll never come here again. Because he'll be bathed in so much light, he won't know what to do with himself. But then does that mean that there, there'll be eternal darkness over here? I don't know. Push that door. Push, push, push. Oh shit, he's still alive. This guy. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Push, push, push. Oh, we did it. We locked them. Someone gets, like, something, a crowbar between those two circles so that they can't come out.
just the rain. Now if we can somehow get back to our house, my house, and we can get me up, I think. Alright, let's go. Oh my god! Oh shit, he collapsed onto the boy! Now he, everything is being bathed in light. But how is the boy gonna get out from underneath the unknown? The town was restored. The city creatures no longer... It seemed the darkness was gone at last. Leaving only the one living form slumped atop the boy. Unknown bodies weighed more and more heavily upon him. His body was so small, so frail, she knew she could not endure no more. Or he could not endure anymore. The girl let go of his hand. Don't leave me! No! Please, don't leave me! Oh. Don't leave me all alone with this corpse and this giant unknown on me, please. Well, maybe she has a plan. I'm just gonna lay here. It's like a cow. Just laying on top of, of me. Oh, is she gonna try to wake me up? Or whatever? She screamed until she could scream no more. Please! Wake up! God, you have your door window open. Wake up, please! Boy! As his consciousness gradually failed him, his body began to return. <gasps> Look at that! He's becoming a real boy again! And he can just get off the uh, unknown's body like no one's business now. And then he woke in his own world. Leaving the girl all by herself in the other world. Oh no. She's coughing, she's probably gonna die. This is no good. How are we going to save her? Anyways, I was considering cutting it off here and going in the next episode, but I didn't want to be too cruel. So we're going to see the finale now. The boy passed through the right in the night and woke in the light of the morning. See, this is the only part I didn't really like care for. The singing, but I'm all right with it. So the boy is alive. It was all a dream. Like a stranger, I walk alone through a cold and empty world. Now the boy is gonna go see the girl. Go to the sewer. Look, here's the factory. The town was so different in the day than it was at night. Yeah, there are probably people. Yeah, 
I see there's people. Eagerly, he hurried to see her. Past the aqueduct slash sewer. He skipped past the circus. A little house came in their view. I feel like this is a storybook come alive. He arrived at her home. He arrived at her home and yelled out her window. Girl! Girl! I never got your name, girl! Please wake up! Yep, just as she had done for him. Please wake up! Talk about love, huh? This kid is love at first silhouette. Shove it. Oh, it's the girl. Take my hand now. The two broke free of the night. We'll yes, they did. Yes, they did. When the rain and once more beneath the rainbow. So yeah, this has been Let's Play Rain. I hope you guys and gals have enjoyed it. I really enjoyed playing it. I, When I saw the video of the trailer and then I was reading some stuff about it, I had to play it. It just seemed like a really awesome game. Anyways, let me tell you my theory on the game, personally. What I was thinking through, through a good portion of the game, I was personally thinking that they were both dead. You know, the boy, he ended up being sick. And he couldn't go to the circus. And uh, the girl, when we first met her at the uh, at her house, she was sick and shivering. I thought that the unknown was death, and it was constantly chasing them. And he would, they, they were in some sort of limbo world where their spirits were at. But it looks like that the whole world was just looked like it was a dream. But I thought it was death when I was first playing. It. I was like, oh shit. They're dead, aren't they? And then I was playing through, and I'm like, oh my god. Because, you know, the unknown, he... He got a... He got crushed. He got almost drowned. He got... Thrown in the light. You know what I mean? And he did not die. And I really thought that, uh... That he was, uh, death. And he was just collecting them. And because maybe if it was in, like, France... Back in the day, maybe they the kids had TB or something, and they ended up, you know, they ended up dying or something like that. I don't know. I I, I just thought that, you know. But like I said, it was all a dream, and that's cool with me too because I'd rather enjoy a happy ending for this type of game rather than something kind of sad. But even if it was kind of sad, it was still been a terrific game. So anyways, um, this was the game for Indie Month, for, for the Indie Game for November. I hope you guys and gals enjoyed it. Um, there's a mode that we get after we beat the game called Memories. I think I've already 
mention this, unlock memories. Now the only thing about that is you go through the entire game again. You can go through it by chapter if you'd like. You're collecting, I believe, 27 memories. And, uh, you'll, you'll get, all it is is you'll get an achievement or an unlockable thing. I'm pretty sure there's no difference in the ending if you get all the memories. I might come back one day and uh, and do it as like a bonus content stuff, but for right now I'm probably not going to. So this is going to be the finale. If I do eventually come back, uh, I'll uh, I'll check it out. But yeah, I hope you guys liked it. This is uh, this is for the PSN. It's an exclusive game again. Um, if you did like it, you're. Um, it's $15. I know that could be a wee bit much, especially for only eight hours, and it feels like only about four hours of gameplay, or not even, well, yeah, maybe about four hours. No, I don't know how long, but it's a good game. If you, you know what, if you didn't, if you can't pick it up for some reason, at least you get to see it and be like, oh man, this game looks good. But the music in this game was really good. The atmosphere was really good. I liked uh, the characters, even though there wasn't too much there. I think the story was simple enough, and it was it was simple. It was something you can grasp. It wasn't too complex. And uh, yeah, I really liked how they they had the boy and the girl working together. I like I you know I'm a sucker for for a, uh, <clears throat> an innocent love story. I think it was nice. You know. <sighs> but yeah. Clear de Lune. I like that song. I'm glad it was in there. I don't know how much, uh, I'm not exactly sure how much, uh, like, publicity they're doing to market this game as you see the marketing. Communication services and operation, public relations, promotion kind of thing go by. They have a whole group of people, but I'm not exactly sure how much they actually marketed it, if if this game was a success or not, but I know I picked it up the first day it came out because I kept seeing that I saw a video, I was read I read an article about it, and then I was like, oh man, this game looks great. Because if you have a unique, a unique aspect to a game, something that like I won't say it's never been done, but something that's different, a lot of the times I'll give that game the benefit of the doubt and I will give it a try. And a good portion of the times, the games end up being pretty good. Sure, they could have done a, a little bit more with story stuff and you know added some extra things maybe made it a little longer but I think I think this game was uh, very good and like I said if you got some extra cash to spend on the PSN I would uh, I would advise picking it up so yeah Let's play Rain. Yeah, the memories collection has been unlocked. You can now find memories hidden around the town. Like I said, there's about 27 of them. And, uh, yeah. So, um, this is the end of the Let's Play. And I'm going to start The Last of Us probably in a day or two. And that should be pretty interesting. I'm going to do co-op with my buddy Rob. But anyways, this has been Kench1913. This has been Let's Play Rain. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next Let's Play. Bye-bye.